Um, before I show you the video that I prepared, I'm filming this. This is actually at the end of my filming. I, I finished filming early in the afternoon. And the reason I'm putting this in is because I broke my truck. And it had nothing to do with the parts I'm reviewing. And um, yeah, so there'll be an upcoming video where I fix this. And then maybe we can actually get a good sense of these parts. But from the video today, you should be able to see definitely the shocks and how they work um, if you're thinking about buying the GPM LMT shocks. All right, enjoy the video. gonna look at my LMT and I'll show you um, the, the upgrades I put on for GPM because GPM has a so-so reputation some of this stuff's really good and I've done two upgrades in this I've done the suspension arms and I've done the shocks and one is excellent one I haven't tested yet um, but it was not fun to install so we're gonna take a look at those and we're gonna take it outside and we'll do some bashing I want to try to do some tricks I've been practicing with this truck quite a bit, so maybe maybe we'll get some backflips in and stuff. First off, we don't need to open the truck up yet. I have put on these big suspension links from GPM. So these are all aluminum front and back. There's no plastic uh, end pieces. So with the normal stock low C links, the ends are made of plastic and they ovalize and then you get a lot of shake in your truck uh, left to right. You get a lot of sliding back and forth and that's not ideal. Now Viviton and Triel make um, upgrade links. They're very expensive so I was excited to see GPM um, come out with these links and I've done it front and back, top and bottom. And I put orange ones on because I like orange. Alright, so the other upgrade I've done are these shocks and these are from GPM these are also pretty cheap so I'll tell you a little bit about the shocks and the uh, links so the shocks and the links are quite cheap I would say um, but not cheap in quality the shocks are 32 US 32 US a pair so $64 front and back and the links are 23 well, I guess it's 32.90 US, so 33, so 66 for the truck, and they are 23.90 or 24 for the links for half the truck, so um, 40, 48. So for like hmm, just over $100, you can get these new shocks and these new links from GPM. These shocks are the same length as the original ones. They do have a few um, things I really like. They are dual spring, so there's a spring at the top and a spring at the bottom. Also, the spring is a heavier gauge. So it's 1.4 millimeter um, winding instead of 1.3. So the, the spring is actually a heavier gauge of wire. And the shock shafts are thickened from three millimeters to four. So the shock shafts are quite a bit beefier. Now, as far as the difference in how they perform, they're soft and slow. Um, the stock shocks on an LMT um, are quite quick. They have really weak springs and they will collapse down and they have quite a bit of droop. So these have less droop. There's a little bit of droop in them, um, but they're actually quite slow. Now I showed a video of this on an LMT group on Facebook and they're like, oh, it's GPM, it sucks. Um, I've already had it out and went through a battery pack with these shocks on, not with the links. Um, just with the shocks and I must say it's more lively easier to do wheelies and I think it's a big improvement so if you're looking for shocks I would definitely recommend these GPM shocks and for your LMT um, the dual spring what it allows for it stops the the spring from bowing 
it can bow out and come off the mounts. So it'll bow a bit at the bottom, not really much at the top. So that's why the dual spring is nice and it has this connector. Now let's look at the links. Now these links are big and beefy. Um, the ends are made of aluminum and I think they're slightly uh, bigger diameter than the ones that came on it, just slightly. Um, so they are 6061 aluminum and they got this anodized coating. Now I put orange on, I have on my other monster truck, I have the links done in orange as well, so I just thought I'd continue that. And orange and blue looks good together. Now, these look great. They're not gonna, they're not gonna ovalize at the ends, which is the big problem with the stock links, but they are terrible to install. This was a kind of an installation nightmare. So you'll notice the very sharp angle these links have to connect to. Um, because of how narrow the center is, which helps with the steering and everything. But it makes them very hard to get on as they're all one solid piece of aluminum. Whereas the plastic ones will actually flex a little bit when you install them. Um, if you look very close, let me see if I can get this truck kind of close to the camera and have it focus. If you look very close in there, um, there are little rubber rings. I don't know if you can see that, if it's coming out on camera. They're very small, they're black. They're little rubber rings. And what they do is they hold the, um, the center piece, the metal piece in the middle, on the link as you install it. But when you go to put it in, it rolls them off. So you keep dropping, dropping them into your truck um, or losing them, and it makes it really hard to install these links because you keep losing that piece and then the center piece falls out and so that I was not impressed with I am impressed with the size and the finish um, and the price because Triel and Viviton stuff is expensive and up until now that's all I could get so I didn't get it I have HR parts HR racing and area racing parts here and there I don't have any Triel and I don't have any Viviton because of the price of it so these GPM ones are quite a bit cheaper. You can go online and look it up. Um, and HR Racing doesn't make them, so that's why they're there. So one other change I made to the truck, and I think it's a great improvement, and if you can get the parts, I'd recommend doing it, is I changed the battery tray out. So this is actually hot racing again. Um, this is where my battery tray is now. Um, it's lower and inside the truck. I predict it's going to perform much better without those wink, weak, wink, without those weak links um, on it. And these shocks definitely are an improvement. So if you're looking for shocks to improve your LMT, I'll wholeheartedly recommend the GPM ones. Um, you can take a look. I'll do a drop test here and you can see how it drops. It'll bounce a bit on the wheels because the wheels bounce, but the shocks don't bounce. They're quite, you can see there, let's, Let's uh, tilt that back. You can see there, they're quite slow, okay? So it's a very, they're very slow, but they work really well. I'm totally impressed. But I'll do a little drop test for you. All right, so that's the drop test. Dropped from about a meter, it looks pretty good. Um, now we'll take it outside and we'll test out these uh, improvements. And uh, I've already driven it. I've already run a couple packs through with the new shocks, and I love them. Um, I think the links will work out great. Um, we'll see if there's any rock in them at the end, but there really shouldn't be. And that battery tray, I think that's an excellent upgrade, even though it's not GPM. Hot Racing, I really like their stuff, so that's something to check out too if you're in the market. All right, let's go outside and uh, bash. drive over that plant.
does like the wheelie more with the new shot. Done. I broke it doing that stupid thing. Broke the axle. Right there. Totally busted it. Yeah, we're done, boys and girls. So, my carbon. <laughs> My carbon fix failed. Snapped the axle. Oh gosh. That's why I put all that carbon on. Because it's that shoe goo. Yep. Carbon and shoe goo. So that's why I put those pieces on to add strength front to back, but I clipped that wheel. I hooked it on the concrete at high speed and it fucking pulled it apart. Game over.
game over, man. Rook it. Well, that's a short running video. Now we need to fix that. Good cat. It was made of three cats. So that's a shame. Um, that is the known, the terrible weak point in this vehicle. And I wonder, because I replaced these, did I move a stress to there or was I just an idiot when I hit that? Probably the latter. Um, but yeah, it looks like we need to get some new axle housings. So I'm not gonna run it. I'm not gonna do a Kevin Talbot and, and give it to her now because there's a potential to break, to bend these new links and a whole bunch of stuff. So we're not gonna do that. We are gonna power it off. Wherever that button is. And uh, well, that's all for this video. How are the links holding up? Pretty good. No rock in there. Shocks are amazing. Um, so as for a review of these parts, I think they're working really well. But obviously I didn't give it much of a much of a go. There's a little little knock in there though. Um, yeah. So that's the fun of our seeing, I guess. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. See you later.